Welcome to another exciting episode of the 30 day guitar challenge. I'm um, going to talk, uh, hopefully briefly today about, um, sort of finding other people to play with. Um, this is, this is something that can really help with your development. Um, no matter what stage you're at. Um, yeah, you know, if you live in the middle of the desert, you know, this, this could be a harder thing for you. If you live in a busy city, it could be a little bit of an easier thing, but I think, you know, especially nowadays, it's really easy to get isolated. And um, I think I was pretty isolated for a long time. And I think in sort of maybe the most recent decade, I've made a conscious effort to to meet other guitar players, other musicians. I was kind of in the solo guitar world for a long time. Um, but to, you know, meet other guitar players, other musicians, other players, um, join groups, be a part of groups and stuff. Um, it's huge. I mean, it, it's really huge. And in some ways, you know, it's kind of what music is all about, you know? Um, so, you know, like sometimes what I'll suggest to students here in town, uh, in Portland is we happen to live in a great town where there's a lot of like bluegrass jams, fast jams, slow jams. Um, there's kind of a thriving gypsy jazz scene. There are jazz jams, there's clubs, there's all kinds, there's open mics. Uh, you know, there's just sort of, there's a great thriving guitar society. Um, so, you know, it's a pretty, pretty good place to be. Um, but these are all things I try to encourage my students to, to take part in. Um, I host, uh, occasionally I have one in my living room. I have a flat picking jam for kind of like intermediate and advanced, uh, flat pickers. And for a lot of those guys, it's like they learn these tunes, but they never actually have the experience of playing with somebody else. And it's huge for them. So, you know, if you're just, Starting off, um, you know, if you can kind of, I know it's hard, you know, but maybe like try to find a local jam or a local group or just a guitar buddy. If you have a guitar teacher um, in your area, you can ask them, do you have another student that's, you know, kind of more or less at my level? But if you can get someone like that, it can really, uh, it can really help. Um, it can really egg you on, <laughs> um, you know, and if you go to a, a bluegrass jam or something like that, or a jazz jam and you don't play, but you just hang back and have a beer. I mean, even that's great. If you just shake someone's hand, cause you're going to go home and, and probably stay up extra late practicing, you know, you're going to get inspired a be big part of being a musician is to kind of keep that fire burning. And these are the interactions that really do it. Um, you know, you, sometimes you're not going to have the best experiences, but it's just like anything else in life, you know, just kind of eliminate the negative people. Don't go there, but, you know, try to find people, uh, you know, who are together and you have a good time being with, and no matter what level you're at, try to find people that are better than you, or maybe that's not a way of putting it. Maybe just, you know, try to find people that are really great at what they're doing and, and just, it can't help, but inspire you and, and rub off on you a little bit. So, um, you know, I, I, as a guitar player, you know, I, again, I was pretty isolated for a long time, but then I started making friends and I started doing, even as a performer, professional, um, doing like guitar nights when you have two, two or three guitar players uh, from town or out of town and stuff. And it's huge because you're banding together and you're combining your audience, which is really cool and giving the audience kind of some, some diversity of style and stuff. So, you know, even if you're a professional, it can be just a great thing to do. Um, but for sure, you know, when people sometimes if I do interviews with a magazine or something, they'll ask, you know, who are your influences and stuff? And, and I love to go down the list of all the, the musicians that inspired me when I was younger. Um, that could be a whole other video, I guess. But the honest answer is the people that inspire me the most for sure are the people that I'm playing with. Um, um, when I spend time a couple days on the road with Mark Goldenberg, I mean, I, <laughs> I get incredibly inspired and not surprisingly, I come up with some very Markish kind of ideas after that. Or if I spend a couple days playing with Tim Connell, um, you know, his mandolin playing and, and his ability to, to variate melodies. I mean, I just, I just, you know, I want to get up early for like three days after that. Uh, drummer Carlton Jackson, another, um, musical partner of mine, just, absolutely whips me into shape uh, rhythmically every time and those are the things that inspire me the most and um, I'm just so glad that I kind of reached out to them at some point um, anyway it's hopefully that's enough to sort of think on but your challenge is 
if you are kind of isolated, you know, see if you can either get a guitar buddy or get into a jam or somehow get into a situation and kind of reach out outside of yourself. And if you're already in a situation like that, you know, try to get some new stuff happening, get some new players, invite someone over for coffee. Um, it's not always going to click, but when it does, it could be a huge part of your development.